if else is a very useful function in R that lets you perform operations on every element of a vector all at once. So if we load in some data here that has some bad values, it has some NAs and some NANs, which are things we don't want, we can use the if else function to fill those in with whatever we want. So in this case, we're calling if else. The first thing you pass in is a logical check that you want to use to fill the values. So in this case, we want to get rid of bad values. So we want to check, are they NA, is NA on the data, or is NAN? So that will return true for all of these missing or bad values. And then the next thing you pass in is what to do if that check was true. So in this case, when it's true, we want to fill them with something. We'll just fill them with the mean value. So we're going to pass the mean of the data. We also have to remove the NAs for that. And then the last thing you pass in is just what to do if that initial check is false. And in this case, we don't want to do anything. So we simply pass the original data back in. And when we run this, all of the data, the bad values are filled with the mean and anything that wasn't bad just returns the original value. And you can actually chain if else statements together to do many different checks sequentially if you need to do that. So for instance, if we wanted to make a categorical variable from this data with categories missing, low, high, and medium, we can do that with several if else statements. So we're going to say if else, the same construction to identify the missing ones. If that's true, we'll say missing. If it's not true, instead of just returning the original value, we'll do another if else. So if it's not true, we'll say if the data is less than 10, we're going to call it low. If that's not true, we'll do another if else. If it's less than 15, we'll call it medium. And finally, if all of those aren't true, we'll call it high. So in this case, we basically used if else to quickly turn a numeric variable into a categorical variable that also identifies how many missing values there are. Anytime you want to take a vector and do something with some of the values and something else with other values, if else should be one of the first functions that come to mind. It is much more efficient to use if else on a vector than it is to loop through with an explicit for loop and perform an operation on every single value sequentially.